Hmm, hold on here. This is a popular wallet, which is due to how Joe, the owner of Rustic Heirloom, markets his hitchhiker wallet, as much as the quality of the wallet. So, let's go. We have something peeking out the top right here. This is the Rustic Heirloom Hitchhiker Wallet. It is a slim wallet. It's got a cotton pouch here. We open this up. This is black. This is the Valentine's Day edition. We'll talk more about the genius way that he markets and sells his wallet. And so, being Valentine's, black and red. That's okay. Feature-wise, we have an interior cash slot right here. This is where you put your cash folded once. And then right here is where we have the card slot. This card slot can hold eight to 10 cards once broken in, or maybe more. And then we have the security strap right here. This helps keep cards from falling out and helps keep your cash a little contained because you can't get over here. The cash isn't gonna come out over here. As you can see, this is one piece of leather that functions all the way around on this. Very clever in how it's put together. And we have this nice little paracord loop. Provides a nice design touch. Uh, but can be used to connect a tether and pickpocket prone areas. Not that bad. Measurement wise, it's four by 2.6 by 0.4 and it weighs 31 grams or 1.1 ounces. So how do you get one? Well, it takes a bit of work, so let's keep going. Company recommends up to 10 cards in cash. I got six cards and five slips of cash. This is very particular to US currency or currency that uh, is very shorter than most. So, you know, we've got a couple in here as well as uh, US dollars. And so it's very precise in how it fits. Up to 10 cards is great. You can see that I uh, actually put, well, let's see. Okay, I did put six in there, but you can get uh, really, I mean, 10 is not a problem in how this puts itself together. This is designed and made in the United States. It's a full grain dyed leather, uh, which we can see on the edges. I mean, you can see how it's not completely dyed all the way around on the edges. Uh, it gives that kind of little fainting look to it. The flesh side is really quite smooth. And the weight, the weight of the leather uh, is light which due to this being a single piece of leather works just fine. No additional bulk being introduced, which provides all the needed support required while still keeping it a really a thin wallet. The sewing is done by hand using a wax thread with light burnishing on all the way around on this. So it's just a, it's just a nicely done wallet. The snap functions well, isn't tough to engage or release, which can sometimes be a bother. And so having a nice snap that's easy to engage, easy to release, uh, and doesn't require a lot of hard pushing is really quite nice. Now the pricing on this is $65. I'm a compact wallet kind of person myself, so this type of wallet really appeals to me. I'm not really into the paracord, but I, I like the eyelet in case I want to use this with a, a tether when traveling. The over-the-top snap does provide a sense of security, so even if thrown around, you're not going to be losing your cards, and your cash really is tucked away here nicely. Overall, a nicely designed wallet using a single piece of leather which shows still shows a bit of adventure and ruggedness. And I like that this is a small family business. So how does Joe market the hitchhiker? By creating demand through scarcity. You can't just get on his website and order the hitchhiker. He shows you all the pictures and what versions his family makes, but you can only order a version of the wallet on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's like trying to reserve a, or buy a concert ticket. I happen to be ready when Valentine's Day was coming, so that's why I got the red and black version. Super smart, as it also has you coming back again and again based on the email you receive on which version will be available for split seconds. So now, on to the final score. For quality of five, really well done. Price of three, features of three, usability of four, really easy to use, and perception of five. Love the family business aspect of this, and I really love how they market this wallet. That gives us a great score of 4.2 out of five. If you like this wallet, then watch this one next, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.